we're gonna make screens. And the only reason I know how to do this is my friend Hillary with Wandering Lounge Bus showed me how. So the basic things you need, good way to start is a screen kit. So we got this and it comes with the spline, it comes with the frame and it comes with four corner connectors. So these are the corner connectors. So I'll open this, then you want a roll of screen. Um, this is one we've had and we made several different types of screen with it. Flathead screwdriver, you want this spline tool, scissors or um, X-Acto. And then I got a couple more corners because we're gonna build more frames or more screens out of this. I got two of these. We'll go through one and I may, you know, mess up or whatever, but I'm just gonna open this and we're just gonna go through it. And you can learn how to make screens. Maybe. We are home based out of Georgia, so screens are a necessity against mosquitoes and all the other bugs, but especially mosquitoes. Um, I'm not sure what these two pieces are for. We didn't use them last time, so I'm just going to leave those. Shouldn't be this difficult. Uh, everything's more difficult when somebody's watching, right? Like I said, I don't know what these are for. They're probably for like house screens, but we're not making house screens. We're making bus screens. Alright. So we take... Oh shoot, I forgot I was going to have to have my wife cut these if I was going to make them shoot balls. We'll see if she's in the mood to cut. She just cut a hole in the bus, so we'll see. And I got to do some measuring, so I'll show you how to do that as well with her assistance. But I basically wanted to start off with supplies because that was the overwhelming part for me. Um, we had previously made some with this green material and duct tape and a staple gun. And those worked fine until we knew better. So now we know better. And I'm going to go through as much as I can and then pause it and get the wife to cut because we want to get all of our projects done today if we can. But we'll see. So I have a trash bag somewhere. But so in these frames, you'll see this right here. This is where the spline is and you're going to just take all of the spline out because you're going to need it. And it's just an easy grab it with your fingernail. I mean, I say it's easy. And you just pull it right out and you'll just toss it to the side until you need it. So I'm going to do this for all four of these. And then I'm going to do my measurements to see what we need for the windows. Uh, I say it's easy, but I don't have very strong fingernails, so we're going to use this booger. <laughs> uh, there we go. And so this should be enough, I think, for four screens, the way that we... Our, our sizes of windows are. So that'd be awesome because we really only need four. We don't open a couple of our windows just because of their location of where they are in the bus. Um, like our window, uh, windows in the um, back where our bed is, we don't really open those. They're covered with reflectix next to our head. And then the other one is covered by our TV. And there are bigger windows anyway, so don't need those and then we have one that's behind our fridge and I think we are putting one behind our shower just to have one there but the more windows the more airflow you have and the more comfortable you'll be especially in spring and summertime all right so see how easy that is you're just pulling this spline right out of this frame and then later on, we'll put the screen in there and we're gonna place that spline right back. So I'm gonna do measurements and I'll show you the one screen we already have on this side is, sorry, I'm trying to use my stand, is right here. 
So you see how we held them on by these little brackets? So what we did is um, used a tool to get these screws out and then use, reuse those screws. Um, so I'm gonna do some measurements real quick. But basically you want to take into account for these corner pieces you're gonna have in there as well. So you're gonna take the measurements. I'm gonna try to flip it, maybe. I don't know if it'll flip. Nope, it won't flip, okay. I'm gonna try to do this this way. So you're gonna take the measurements of the length and the height, and then you're going to account for those, what I think they're like a, this is what the instructions say. Subtract one half inch per screen frame piece to allow for corner pieces. So, um, that gives you good directions on here. So hopefully that helps and we're gonna do some measurements. Okay. We have our pieces cut thanks to the white bear. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take 24, 21, 21, and a 24. Our windows are this size, so you're gonna have that. Make sure, <laughs> Make sure I have the right sizes. Is that Okay. All right. So I have them all with the spline part open, and then I'm going to put these corner pieces in. So you need four, and they just slide in. So if you have them in wrong, they will tell you. So see, like this just slides right in like that. And then this will slide in right like that. If you have to hammer it in, it's probably not right. Let's see how it opens. Doop. One more. right in there you have a square triangle what is this rectangle, rectangle. <laughs> wow okay then you take your roll of screen and you want to have a little lap over I wish we had more of a flat table but my table is not but it's okay it worked last time it'll work this time so you're gonna take your screen roll and you're gonna have, like I said, extra on the sides because you want to have um, a little room in case it, you know, like pops out or something. And you can even like leave it like this if you want to while you're doing the screen, but you want to keep it nice and taut. So nice and tight. And I'm just gonna cut. It's probably not gonna be straight, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so now the easy part is the first part of spline. And I had help doing this last time, so we'll see. I'm gonna grab spline. I may have to ask my wife's assistance for keeping it nice and taut. But you're taking the spline and you're taking your little spline piece and you're gonna stick it right here in the corner like that and you're just gonna stick it in 
okay? You're just pressing it in. And this is a lot easier if you're going the opposite way of what I'm probably about to do. But this thing has like a little ridge where it hugs the spline. So you just go and just it just literally rolls into place. All right. And you see we have a little extra. We're just going to turn it into the corner. And we may have to use the screwdriver. And And then see, it's almost perfect for two sides. See that? That's cool, huh? All right. I have to ask the wife to come around this side and hold it tight. Oh, we got a big baby dog. Big baby dog. Because we want it to be tight. You don't, you don't want them to like be all loosey goosey. So we'll go right here. What do I have to do? I need you over here and hold it tight over that way. Because we don't want it to be loose. Okay. And then I'm gonna get some more twine. And I'm going to shut it nice and tight. Okay. Okay. Oh, popped out. All right. There we go. It will. I'll go around it again too. Once we get it all in. That's what she said. <laughs> You're wrong, Katie. You. I know. <laughs> Alright, this is where the screwdriver comes in. Especially in these corners. Watch your fingers. <laughs> go. Alright. And then you want to spline it? Uh, <laughs> Other side usually works better. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I haven't used that up that side. Cut that off and we'll re-tighten that. I'm telling you. Yeah. Won't it um break it though? Alright. How do you cut this? Too small, see? So Yeah. <laughs> no more tools for you. <laughs> All right. And then what we'll do is we'll cut off the excess screen. We'll leave a little bit, probably about, um, what, quarter of an inch out. Just in case it slips out, it has a little bit more room to be tucked back in or redone. But yeah. you cut it with. Scissors usually. You don't want to, yeah, don't put the thing in there. You want to hold it. Oh, 
Is that okay or is that not okay? That should be okay. I cut a little bit extra last time, but I think I cut too much extra. There we go. Look at you. <laughs> so we got cows and geese. <laughs> All right. There you go. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna just go around. Oops, sorry. Don't think I got it too small. Well, as long as it doesn't pop out. It'll okay. be fine. <laughs> All right. We have a screen, guys. Voila. Where's that one going? Right there. So what she has to do is use the impact driver to get the screws out to hold these in. And then we have these little pieces that we'll put up there and put that in. Voila. You now know how to make screens, guys.